This is the Beaky My5 smartwatch, which is kind of designed to look a lot like an Apple watch. Bought this from banggood.com for as little as £15. That's around 18 in US dollars. Today we have the black version, but this Bluetooth smartwatch also comes in a blue, green, pink, silver and white version. The specifications state that it supports iOS 8.4 and later, Android 4.4 and later, and comes with the latest 5.0 Bluetooth technology. It also says that it's IP67 waterproof. Not bad. But you know what? Let's get to the unboxing. So inside the box... Well, you know what, guys? First of all, the box does look a lot like the Apple Watch box. You know, obviously, different design, but it comes presented the same way. Yeah, well... Very good presentation for starters, good packaging. So to the right hand side, we have the Smart Call Bracelet User Manual. And yeah, we got clear instructions, colourful instructions in fact. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, there's been some type of mix up. We've actually ordered the white version today. We do have a silicone watch strap. Now these are basic straps, they come with most smartwatches. But yeah, to the left, we've got the watch face itself. Gonna place it to the side just for now. We're gonna see what accessories we do have. Well, not many, which is to be expected, really. Let's see what type of charging cable we get. We got a basic two pin USB charge cable. And yeah, it's not bad length, to be honest. And let's have a gander at the watch face itself. It's not bad actually, it's not exactly thin, but it's a lot thinner than most budget smartwatches in the market just now. We've got a little dial to the side, We've got a push button which feels, actually it's not even a real button. But with regards to the watch face, well that watch face is 4.2 centimeters by 3.8 centimeters. We have the usual sensors to the rear, we've got a dual charge pin port as well. Looks to me like we've got a little speaker to the left, a microphone to the right. It's going to be interesting to see what this button actually does. I think it might be the power on button and see if that dial actually works. Now that side button is indeed part of the plastic. So no, it's not a real button and it's going to be very easily noticed. But do we have any power? Hmm, no, we don't. Uh, we're going to fully charge it. In fact, it's going to give us a good indication of the full charge time. With this smartwatch, it's a 200 milliampere hour battery, so it took around three hours to fully charge. We'll get around 15 days standby with up to seven days usage. Before we have a look at the features, it's best to first download the Wear Fit app. Now, this is downloadable off the Google Play Store, and with this app, it will give you more of an insight and it will coordinate with most of the features on this My5 smartwatch. To awaken the screen, you can simply flick it, tap the front screen, or press the side button. Now that front display, it has a 1.54 inch TFT screen. It has a 240 by 240 pixel resolution. We've got the time, which isn't correct. We've got the heart rate monitor, steps that have been taken, calories burned, the date, the temperature, and the battery level. So yes, there's kind of a lot of information on that startup screen. It would have been great if the screen would have fit the full edge of the actual watch. Now that watch face can be changed by simply holding for a few seconds. It should vibrate, flick through the watch facings. So we've got one which is in blue. It's got the same type of information except for the weather counter. We have got a simplistic look theme, a classic watch setting, which actually really looks kind of snazzy. So yeah, five watch themes and, and we're gonna stay with the classic style. So I really like it. So let's see what we got on the shortcuts. So if we swipe to the right first, we should come up with the built-in applications. So you've got the phone, which comes up with call record, dial pad, so yes, you can dial a number on it when it's connected. Hello? Hello? How you doing? Good. Do you think there's a bit of a delay with the call? Yeah. Yeah, there's a slight bit, and it's about half a second delay from my voice reaching you. Well, the speaker's kind of loud, and it's got a built-in microphone within the um, watch unit itself, but yeah, call quality's not too bad. So we've got heart rate monitor. Oh, love the graphics. Blood pressure monitor, got SPO2 monitor. Got your data, obviously how many steps, how many calories burned, all that information. Again, the graphics look fantastic on this. Got a winning app with a timer, cycling, climbing, a sleep monitor, that's great. So you can monitor how long you've slept for and stuff like that. Oh, we got music as well, ooh. Perfect. 
I've got messages, got settings, find my phone. The normal shutdown options and phone brightness. So yeah, there's some of the apps. Let's go back to the main menu. So yes, swiping left or right takes you to those apps. Swiping up takes you to power settings. So and let's swipe down. And then you just basically got shortcut for messages. That button does nothing. It's simplistic. One button to awaken, one button to go back. And yeah, a nice sports monitor with a very, very responsive touch screen. Well, personally, I actually do really like this smartwatch. It doesn't look too thick when on the wrist. This My15 offers a lot anyway of fitness. So if you want to get back on track, you've been in lockdown for way too long. You've got your step counter, got all your usual type of apps to which you will need. With a screen that is very responsive and just that all round easy watch to use. Now, the only thing I would say about this smartwatch is the side button, it does feel a bit flimsy to be honest. And rotating it does nothing by the way. I know Bakey are trying to do things that Blitzworth are trying to do right now. So this My15 is trying to replicate a certain type of watch, you know, an Apple watch. And then that plastic pretend side button, which is solid. I rather liked this watch if it would have came basically sealed off completely. But other than that, the watch has its uses. And many watches these days are indeed using that Wear Fit app, which to be honest, I've used before and it does monitor your whole week's progress. Now, one thing you must remember when buying a watch like this is you pay for what you get. It does have a crisp look about it and everything is straightforward, which is what you want, especially when you're on the go. So everything is easily accessible. It's got a lot of applications, and I think that Bakey, you know what? They're going in the right direction. The only thing is, like I mentioned, just get rid of that pretend button, follow your own style, and stop trying to replicate bigger, better companies. I mean, if Bakey have indeed tried to replicate the Apple Watch with this My5, and bring a cheaper alternative, especially for kids who want to look the part, I think if you're going to high school with this, when high school opens back up, people are definitely going to notice that you've got what looks like a fake Apple Watch. But with that being said, what would I give this Bakey MI5 smartwatch out of my usual rating out of 10? Well, you know what? I'm going to be generous today and I think I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. The flick to awaken option, it really works well. The touchscreen is very responsive. The apps works kind of well. Honestly, I don't know about the blood pressure though, but a 7 out of 10 is all it's going to get. And that's based within the budget range category. So yeah, guys, I will leave a link for this watch within that video description down below. So if you want to go and check this Baking My 5 out, go and check it out if you wish. And if you like what you see, well, go get yours. While you're there, guys, please go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I hope to see you guys on my new reviews coming this week, so stay tuned for them. And well, thanks for watching. Peace.